Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is me, Ritham Sa, and you're watching Multant YouTube. Today is Wednesday and it's our time to know what has been happening in the world of tech. It's time for tech news. So without any delay, let's get into the video. Well, 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 so the first update of the day comes from Facebook. So Facebook uh, proposed to license its uh, network and code to avoid antitrust actions. So the FTC was planning to take actions against Facebook and uh, Facebook didn't want that to happen. And it proposed a lot of things. And one of it was that they wanted to license uh, their network and code to other firms so that they could create their own social network. Now, the FTC didn't agree and uh, they have already filed an antitrust. Uh, you know uh, complaint against Facebook on December 9th well another update is a great news for the VR and aviation enthusiasts out there so Microsoft flight simulator can now be played on VR and Microsoft flight simulator is all, was all about uh, you know making it happen making the experience of being a pilot simulating the whole experience and uh, you know VR really makes that happen so now with the new update of Microsoft flight simulator you can play the game in virtual reality you know giving you the full experience of uh, you know becoming a pilot so companies like Google, Microsoft, Cisco and VMware have now come in support of Facebook's legal action against NSO Group. So last year, WhatsApp, the Facebook owned company, took legal action against the spyware vendor, saying that they used uh, different loopholes uh, to hack 1400 devices. Uh, that loopholes that were found in the messaging platform. Now, uh, you know, uh, I really appreciate these companies uh, stepping up for user data privacy. And uh, in today's day and age, uh, you know, users data privacy is one of the biggest concerns out there. And, uh, you know, uh, it's really great to see these company, uh, companies, you know, coming together at least to fight uh, these kind of things on the internet. And uh, I really appreciate that because I think uh, something that really needs to be protected is user data out there. And, uh, you know, the hacks and different things happening, you know, every month, every week nowadays uh, is really raising concerns uh, in the common public, you know. So, yeah, the, these kind of uh, news really give relief. Adobe has released the Apple Silicon version of Premiere Pro in beta. So after the release of, uh, you know, the Apple Silicon, the ARM based Apple chips, uh, all the applications, all the softwares that had to be worked on the new, uh, you know, had to be optimized so that they could work on the new chipset. Uh, so yeah, now uh, Adobe says that they will be porting Premiere Pro's features in different phases and uh, all the third party integrations won't work until and unless their respective developers will optimize it for the new chipset. And uh, yeah, uh, you can, uh, the Apple Silicon users can still use the uh, current version of uh, Premiere Pro using the Rosetta 2 emulation uh, when, uh, while the, uh, you know, the, the Silicon version is uh, under development. So, uh, but still uh, some third party integrations might not work under the emulation. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, to, you know, optimize all these softwares that, uh, for the new chipset. But uh, things uh, seem uh, quite good for now. So another update is about Samsung's S21 Ultra. So the leak suggests that the S21 Ultra will have six cameras, including two cameras. One will be a 3x and another will be a 10x uh, telephoto cameras. Well, the official announced date or the price have not been announced yet, but leaks suggests that uh, the announcement will happen on 14th of January. Big tech companies like Nvidia, Intel and Cisco were affected during the SolarWinds hack and not just these companies, more than 10,000 companies were affected by the hack. And that's a lot of companies and that's a lot of data. And uh, big, these companies say that they are investigating on what ha happened or, uh, you know, if they are affected by the malware or not. But uh, these things do take time. You know, it takes time to find out if the malware has affected or is going to affect. So, yeah, you know, we need to do need to wait uh, to see what uh, effects uh, will be seen or what uh, which companies did it affect. But yeah, it's huge because more than 10,000 companies means a lot of data, a lot of user data, a lot of company data, a lot of sensitive data. And not just that, a lot of government agencies data. So yeah, this is pretty serious. And uh, yeah, we'll need to wait to see what uh, the effects were and, uh, you know, uh, which uh, organizations, which companies were affected by the hack. 
Well, that was it for today's episode of Tech News. I hope you liked the video and if you did, do leave a like and uh, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe and, you know, share this video, uh, tell everybody to subscribe. We need to hit that, you know, mark of 1000 subscribers. This channel needs to reach to, uh, you know, 1000 subscribers. It's been more than two years over here. So, yeah, subscribe and make subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.